Hello everyone and welcome again to the Natural Resources Canada series on urban trees. I'm Ken Farr, I'm a dendrologist with the Canadian Forest Service here at NRCAN. And today we're going to be talking about some of the urban trees that are common in the area and that would be useful as trees for planting on properties and in and around spaces in your community. Well, here again is a choice of, of urban trees that is definitely off the beaten path. This is a tulip tree or a yellow wood, Liriodendrum tulipifera. It's actually in the magnolia family. They uh, grow na native in Canada in one spot on the north shore of Lake Erie and the southern shore of Lake Huron. And here we are in an urban forest in Ottawa in hardiness zone five and uh, these trees are, uh, there's a group of them here, and they're growing very well in an exposed site. It's a lesson that um, it's possible to expand the list of urban trees, and uh, it's a bit of an experiment. But in the case here, these trees are growing very well, and it seems to have been a remarkably positive outcome. So what's interesting about this tree? Extremely fast growth the largest broadleaf tree in eastern North America. The uh, pioneer settlers called it Apollo of the Woods because it was so large and so rapid growing. And uh, if you look at these trees, they have an interesting form. They have a single stem from the very base of the tree right to the tip. It's called excurrent growth. Uh, unlike things like maple trees where, where the tree breaks up into a, a, a whole complex of, of branches. It makes for very fast growth. It makes for an interesting form. And in the case of these trees, they fit into a smaller space, even though it's a large tree. So for those reasons, it's an interesting choice. Uh, and by large, I mean in nature, maybe 35 meters tall, maybe 100 centimeters in diameter, uh, likely smaller on an urban site like this. So foliage is super interesting and uh, really quite characteristic. You won't see another leaf like it. It's as though someone has taken scissors and cut the tip off the leaf itself. So you've got kind of five main lobes and it looks as though the top of the leaf has been, been cut away. Nice uh, yellow autumn color as you can see. They have a beautiful yellow tulip-like flower in the spring. As I noted, it's in the magnolia family. So it gives you an idea of, of how magnificent and ornamental the flowers are. The fruit is, is a stalk with little wing seeds, kind of a complex attached to the stalk and the seeds fall off individually. And another uh, way to spot the tree is that the central stalk of the fruit itself remains attached to the tree. So very rapid growth. These trees were planted about uh, 12 years ago and they're topping 12 to 15 meters right now. I would say be judicious about where you plant them. They are beside a street here, but they're sheltered by other trees all around them. I wouldn't suggest planting them as a boulevard tree, but certainly if you've got a, uh, a green space where there's a little shelter existing, uh, they'll do well. Uh, not shade tolerant, they like to have uh, a full sun to a partial shade while they're growing as a seedling or as a small tree. So tulip poplar, a very unusual Carolinian species and doing well here in Hardiness Zone 5 in Ottawa in the urban forest. If you like this video, let us know with a thumbs up. Click on the logo below to subscribe to the Simply Science channel and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload new videos.